bone spur. What is a bone spur? This condition is an overgrowth of bone. This problem is not unique to the foot but it does occur quite commonly in the foot and ankle. They are also commonly known as osteophytes or exostosis. An exostosis can be large or small, it may or may not be painful. What causes a bone spur? An exostosis is an overgrowth of bone most commonly seen at a joint, the place where two bones come together and allow for movement. Abnormal motion at the level of a joint If the movement of the joint is not optimal, over time, there will be bone erosion and formation of osteophytes. Excessive tension on a bone from a tendon attachment The pulling of the tendon on the bone may cause the bone to form excess growth. Trauma as severe as a fracture or multiple traumas to the same area may end up causing osteophytes to form. Every day, wear and tear, over the course of years, to an area of bone, will cause bone to once again, overproduce to form a spur. Bone diseases such as osteomyelitis, bone infection, and Charcot foot may also cause excess bone to form. Normal aging will also cause osteophytes to form. Bone spur symptoms. Pain pain is usually the result of the exostosis pressing on a nerve, tendon, muscle, or getting in the way of the function of a joint. The pain can range from mild discomfort, to severe pain every time the patient takes a step. The pain can quickly disappear once the patient is at rest, or the pain can persist even beyond activity. Stiffness If the spur limits the motion of a joint, there will stiffness as the joint is not able to go through its full range of motion. Inflammation such as mild swelling and redness over the area. Loss of function If a piece of the spur breaks off and lodges in the joint, the affected joint will lock and it will be very painful to try and move the joint. Bone spurs in the foot. Spurring in the toes will generally cause corns or even inflame the surrounding tissue, causing a bursitis to form. A corn in between the toes, soft corn, more often than not, is the result of an exostosis on one toe pressing into the adjacent toe, especially in closed shoes, thus causing excessive pressure and the formation of a corn. The most common cause is due to overlapping toes. A small red swollen area either on the top of one of the toes especially the fifth toe may often be the result of bone overgrowth which is irritated by shoe wear and causes a bursitis to form. Pain on the top portion of the big toe joint commonly known as hallux rigidus, hallux limitus, is the result of exostosis formation usually on both the first metatarsal bone and the base of the proximal phalanx, the base of the big toe. Bone spurs on the top of the foot can usually be palpated, felt, due to the fact that the skin is very thin on the top of the foot and there is virtually no muscle there either. The most famous exostosis on the foot is probably the heel spur. Heel spurs can occur both on the bottom of the heel and the back of the heel although the classic heel spur is the one occurring on the bottom of the heel. Lastly, perhaps the most serious side effect from a bone spur on the foot is the formation of an ulcer. Since this condition is an overgrowth of bone, it can create friction or pressure points against the shoe. In individuals who are either diabetic or have circulation compromised feet, the skin between the spur and the shoe may break down and form an ulcer. Treatment of bone spurs Changing to a conservative shoe to a less restrictive shoe which takes pressure off the spur. Generally, a laced Oxford which offers a high and wide toe box is the most comfortable shoe. Orthopedic padding over the affected area will keep shoe pressure off the area and relieve the pain. Cortisone injections into the inflamed area can be very useful in eliminating the pain. Sometimes more than one injection is necessary. Anti-inflammatory medication both prescription and over-the-counter, for short durations, may be helpful. Physical therapy may help reduce the symptoms. Heat and ice therapy done at home may also be useful. Surgery as it relates to the foot, bone spur formation may quite possibly be the number one reason people seek foot surgery. If conservative care does not alleviate the pain, in most cases surgically removing the bone spur will. In cases where an ulcer has formed, in many instances, 
the underlying exostosis will have to be surgically removed in order to get the ulcer to close. Read the full article at www.fot-pain-expland.com slash b-o-n-e underscore spur.html